And anger over the war is spilling into our area with activists on both sides facing off today at the University of Washington. The school was already mourning the death of a former international relations grad student, Hayim Katzman, who was working on peaceful resolutions to the Palestinian conflict when he was killed. Tonight, a student who studied alongside Kotzman is sharing more about their time together in Seattle. The two were in the Jewish Studies program together. His friend Sam Gordon says he was one of the standouts. Vox 13's Jennifer Dowling spoke with Gordon about how Kotzman was on track to leave his mark in the academic world before he was killed. Jennifer. Good evening. Sam Gordon tells me the two met in the 2017-2018 academic year when they were taking classes and seminars together. Gordon says that Kotzman was a rising star. He says that his death is a big loss to the academic community. Haim was really one of the rising stars within the Israel and the Jewish studies world. Sam Gordon was part of the Jewish Studies Fellowship Program back in 2018 when he met Haim Kotzman. Uh, we were Israel uh, Studies Fellows together. Gordon was working towards a master's in Middle East Studies in the Jackson School of International Studies, while Kotzman was working on his Ph.D., focusing on the study of Israel, religions, cultures, and civilization. Yeah, Haim was really one of the smartest people in all of our classes. He would always... Um, challenge the assumptions of teacher of the professors. Gordon said Kotzman also liked to discuss and study the impact of religious Zionism. So he did a lot of research into how which figures emerged and how the peace process was injured along the way through this religious Zionism scope. Kotzman was also known as a peace activist. And that's one of the great ironies uh, of his loss is that he was so pro-peace and so he always just wanted the Israelis and the Palestinians to cooperate and to build society together and, you know, the fact that he died in such a violent attack is uh, something that I struggle with. Gordon says the attacks caused him to reflect on his own studies, which included the 90s and the Oslo Accords. There's a lot of optimism that peace was possible and peace was right around the corner in the 90s. And Hamas is actually the one that undermined this through a series of suicide bombings across Israel. And that um, really injured the psyche of the Israeli people. He says when Kotzman died, the world lost a brilliant scholar with unlimited potential. And his loss is a great loss for UW, a great loss for the Jewish people, and a great loss for humanity. Gordon notes that Kotzman was also a very talented DJ, and when they were discussing their studies together, they were also talking about international music, Kotzman introducing him to all sorts of new artists, which was a passion of his as well. Reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.